Good morning traders. So how do we trade the DAX today? So I'm still using the Bill Williams um, strategy and uh, there's a couple of things at play on the daily here. So the first one is if we look at the alligator, uh, sorry the awesome oscillator not the alligator, you can see we have a potential um, inverse head and shoulders forming here. Okay and that is pretty more often than not an indication of some kind of turn about to happen. So you can also see we've got diversions here. So we've got a low, pretty much a double bottom, and then we've got a higher low here. Okay, um, you can see similar here, we've got a double bottom on the Williams percentage R and lower, we've got a low and a lower low here. However, uh, yeah, this piercing to the top and then we've got an engulfing. Uh, I think there's still a lot of indecision and the bears are still very much in control of this. So we kind of uh, didn't quite hit apart from that one there. So you can see um, all these swing lows and, uh, and that is a logical one. Uh, should have actually had it drawn in. And that would have been the next logical one up there. But yeah, so we've hit that and uh, we sort of bounced off again. Now, this could just be a pullback for another move to the upside, very possible. I think the easy way to spot this is to look at the one hour. Okay, so you can see we had the fall off and then we just went sideways. Okay, so pretty much didn't really even hit uh, close above that level. That's why we had it like that. So. Yeah, so I think there's nothing really concrete for me at the moment. And you can see awesome oscillator is doing this normal thing, just running along with zero. Uh, which basically means there's no buyers or sellers in reality. So nobody's loading up with anything. Uh, everybody's still worried. So I think there's a lot of uh, Brexit fears. Um, there's uh, German politics here at play as well. And also, you know, trade wars at the moment. So I suspect... One of the things that um, that I do suspect is that this flag here, which is pretty much this channel, um, I suspect that this measured move is going to play out. And the big question here is when. Okay, so I'm still expecting us to move to the downside. And come and visit uh, 10.850. Okay, so that's kind of what um, I'm expecting. Uh, and you can see that the real move is pretty much in the morning. Okay, and I said to you the first hour of trading was critical to watch to see whether we broke above or below that. And there's our first hour of trading, and you can see how we broke below. Okay. You can see what I normally like to do is watch that first hour and then look for a um, either a 12 or a sort of a, a five minute close below, which will give me indication that we're moving. Okay, and that's pretty much what happened. So today I think more of the same. Uh, watch that first hour of trading. You've got a, a gap below here. Okay, so there's a, there's a daily gap here, which uh, will be a magnet. And um, yeah, there's nothing else that I can see. So I would expect us uh, pretty much to probably move the downside, gather our thoughts, move a little bit up, or even alternatively move back to the upside. Yeah, test this uh, 200 moving average and move back to the downside. So, we just have a, a quick look at what's happening on the DAX futures right now. DAX futures up 0.2%, sitting at 11.171. So pretty much somewhere around here. 151, 174, 171. Okay, so futures market is pretty much right where we, we closed. Okay, so I'm not trading this uh, over Thanksgiving weekend. It's just uh, not going to happen for me. It's, uh, I'll rather wait for Monday.
take the take the public holiday with the with the USA. So I expect this thing just to consolidate again. So it's more than likely move between sort of trade between uh, one one two sixty and one one zero sixty. Uh, that's kind of this 200 point range that's what i'm expecting today okay so if you are going to trade this the best way to do it is to pay attention to the fractional levels now this fractional level has been broken okay we've pierced it so i'd be watching the next fractional level up there okay so break below this fractional level here expect some downside and then you can move the stop above uh, pretty much this pin bar here, this tail. Uh, a break above here, you can expect the upside, and I would probably target this area here. Uh, break to the downside, my target is going to be um, pretty much somewhere along this 11.060 area. Okay, so that's it for me today. I hope that helps. And... Uh, yeah, stay safe. Keep those stops tight and uh, drop down to a lower time frame and just uh, trade on those fractals. So a fractal break below the teeth is short. A fractal break above the teeth, you're long. Okay. Anyway, guys, uh, stay safe and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Cheers for now.